Alexander Technique 108, where we look at the relationship between the Alexander Technique and yoga and today meditation. We're going to look at shamatha meditation, peaceful abiding meditation. And we're going to be using the breath to focus the mind. We're going to be, if the mind starts to wander, we're going to let the breath sort of bring our focus back. So it's, for me, a, a nice analogy has always been the clouds in the sky where we think about the clouds, you know, passing through the sky and we can grab onto those clouds and follow each cloud as it passes to the horizon or we can just notice the cloud and let it move on. And over time you might find that those thoughts that are the clouds, you know, will come and go but there is something sort of behind the clouds, there's a bigger space and you become aware of that space. And what that does is, you know, like in the Alexander Technique, where we have this opportunity for change, the way we use our body, we have this opportunity to use it differently. And if we've been causing ourselves pain or headaches or, you know, other health issues or performance issues, if we're an artist or a musician, then we, um, we have this opportunity to sort of move past that. We're not, we're not necessarily stuck in our current situation. So meditation is a way where we sort of have that opportunity to take responsibility for our mind, for our thoughts, for our relationship with those thoughts. And it's really helped me personally tremendously. And so I would recommend to start with a daily practice, if possible, a daily gentle practice, sort of do 10 minutes like we're gonna do today, as opposed to commit to doing you know, an extreme amount of time and then getting frustrated and giving it up. It's better to commit to five, 10 minutes a day, if possible, or a couple times a week, whatever your schedule allows, and to continue with that, because you'll find that the change, the sort of, the relationship that you have will become aware and become, and you'll see that and you'll, you'll want to proceed, you'll want to continue. And so, we're going to do just a, ten, a quick 10 minute meditation, but before we do that, let's just talk about sitting. Because I know a lot of people have issues with just sitting on the ground, especially Westerners, because we just were not brought up sitting like this, sitting cross-legged on the ground. So for me, this was very difficult at first, and when I started meditation, it was a lot of pain management, to be honest. I was in a lot of pain a lot of the time, and I kind of forced my way through it, and I thought that was just part of what meditation was, but it really, it really isn't and it really shouldn't be. So you want to, you want to find a comfortable way of sitting. And for me currently, this, this is pretty, pretty comfortable. I can sit like this for a while. And the reason is that I've, I've really kind of opened up my hips and I keep my back, especially my lower back straight. And you know, the analogy is to think of your spine as, as like coins and you're stacking coins. So your spine is straight and held erect, and your neck and your head is sort of balanced on top. So you're not leaning forward and creating all this tension in the back, or leaning back and creating all this tension in the front. By sort of stacking the spine and thinking your directions, your Alexander Technique directions, you're thinking up along the spine. So you're not crushing down and you're not becoming fatigued. So I recommend you try that. And also in terms of sitting, you see a lot of people put different cushions and arrange themselves differently and try to make themselves comfortable, which you know is fine if, if you're starting out and you're having trouble sitting. But over time, it's, it's not a good idea to rely on all these outside things. It's, you know, as we say in the Alexander Technique, we're not trying to you know, use our body to adjust to the world, you know, we can adjust our body and have the freedom of a child in the world. We can have that, you know, freedom of use where we can be comfortable in the world. So for me, I, I really didn't like the idea of using different blocks to prop up the knees or, or whatever. I, I actually just kind of trained myself to sit properly and it was a little uncomfortable at first, but over time, you know, I can sit very comfortably like this. Now I like to sit in this half lotus position and I can sit this way very comfortably. For a while I wasn't using a cushion, now I'm back to using a cushion. So there are, there are no hard and fast rules 
it's whatever's working for you. And you can use a chair, of course. You know, if you do want to use a chair, keep both feet on the ground and sit evenly and have your back straight. Don't lean back against the chair if, if you can. But if you have to, that's fine too. You know, again, it's like this is, this is a, a process of growth. So, you know, whatever is working for you at the moment is, is going to be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit comfortably. And we want to really be sitting on the sit bones. We want to feel that we're sitting on the sit bones. The sit bones are sort of like the feet of the torso. So again, we want to have that spine nice and straight. We want to think our Alexander directions, which is let the neck be free so the head can go forward and up, so the back can lengthen and widen. And once we are sort of comfortable in our position, we're going to focus our awareness on the breath. And the breath, you know, is not going to change. We're not going to force the breath to, to be quicker or slower, and we're not going to influence it in any way. We're just going to notice the breath. So as we're sitting, if our mind starts to wander, we can just notice that. And then we can gently bring our awareness back to the breath. And if counting helps, we can actually count the breath. And again, we don't want to be caught up in counting the breath. So whatever, whatever method, if you want to count to 10, count to three, count to 100, continue counting, it really doesn't matter. It's just this way of focusing our awareness. So when the mind wanders, we just gently bring the awareness back to the breath. And this is just a very simple, easy technique. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start our formal little meditation session here by ringing the bell. So I'll ring the bell three times and we'll just sit for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I'll ring the bell again and that'll be the end of this meditation. So once you're sitting comfortably,
So thanks everybody, that was, that was the 10 minutes. I hope you found this useful. And please let me know what you think in the comments and hope to see you soon. Thank you.